from electrifying public transport to solar rooftops to small urban solar parks like this one to the world's largest solar farm, biogas, hydrogen, India's throwing everything it's got at its energy problem. A problem of both demand and supply. An Indian consumes less than a third of the energy an American does on average. But there are 1.4 billion Indians, making it the world's third largest energy consumer. Rising incomes, industrialization and urbanization also mean rapidly rising energy demand, supplied mostly by hydrocarbons. Coal powers 70% of India's electricity. The country has the second largest reserve in the world. Petroleum products power transport. Over 80% of the crude oil is imported, posing a budget risk. Which is why India is aggressively pushing public and private investments across green energy, using a mix of local production incentives and import tariff barriers. The progress has been encouraging. By 2030, almost half of India's power generation capacity will be solar, wind and hydro. Electric vehicle sales tripled last year, though they are a fraction of overall sales, and green hydrogen has drawn multi-billion dollar bets from leading conglomerates. But there's still batteries, storage, grid transformation, so much to do. Last year, India spent $16 billion on green energy technologies. It needs at least 10 times that investment every year to 2030 to get on track with net zero. India needs to get this energy transition right. It would not be an exaggeration to say the future of the planet depends on it.